We've done everything we can to try to minimize any cost pressures throughout the supply chain, including cost of goods. And we're really proud of what people are going to see this holiday. I mean, I mean, here at Walmart, you can expect for a family to be able to buy a Thanksgiving meal for th about $39, so just under $40. And that's about $14 less on average than what customers will see around the country. So we know that price and value are important, and we're fighting to keep low prices here at the store every day. Is it more money than that same family paid last year? You know, we've seen a little bit of inflation um, in, in sort of the mid-single digit range around the store. It's, it's kind of spread evenly amongst categories. Uh, but basic items like a turkey, the store I'm in this morning has, has turkeys for 87 cents a pound. So we're still in really good shape on, on price um, relative to where we were um, a year ago. Certainly there's a bit of inflation that has come through. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to fight really hard to ensure that we have great values for our customers. How much do you think we're struggling if you're saying demand is there and prices aren't up that much? Well, we really see a strong consumer around the country. Um, certainly, we see strong demand. We know that incomes are higher than they were a year ago on average. We know that savings rates are better than they were on average. So there is a lot of demand for holiday products, and that's everything from our core fresh food business all the way to gifting. And so we think that, that customers are generally in, in pretty good shape as we go into the holidays. Walmart is a behemoth. So come this Friday, you're going to have all the must-have items. You're going to have the promotions at the right prices. But the next day is Small Business Saturday. How can small businesses survive at a time like this? Well, first, um, we're really proud of the fact that we source about two-thirds of what we sell here in the United States, and that is sold to us from suppliers that range everything from large multinational companies to startups and very small companies. And, you know, we've been uh, encouraged to see the number of startups and small entrepreneurs that have done well the last few years. And one of the things that we also do that's great for small businesses is we have a Walmart marketplace. And we've got a lot of suppliers who are starting their business, they're starting to sell in the marketplace, and they can grow from there. And you know, this entire country, this entire economy was founded really by entrepreneurs and all of them started small and they all grew. So I'm, I'm really optimistic about what we're going to see the next few years. We, we just finished a 10 year period where we had committed to buying an additional $250 billion of product that's either made, manufactured or assembled in the U.S. And we just com committed to an additional $350 billion over the next 10 years. So we're really bullish on the position of small business here in the country. You've hired 200,000 workers going into the holiday season at the exact time when we have a record number of people quitting their jobs and not returning to work. What is it that brings people back? Is it just about higher wages? No, I think it's a number of things that be, bring people back. I mean, first, I think people generally enjoy being in the workplace, being around others. And, you know, we're, we're, social, we're social beings, and it's great to spend time and have these relationships at work. You know, second, um, our staffing has gotten much better the last few months. Um, certainly, uh, with the, the, the slowdown at the end of the Delta variant, uh, we've had more people apply and ready to come back. And as you said, wages are up. Your company and a few other major retailers recently met with Pri President Biden to discuss how do we fix the broader supply chain issues around the country, around the world. What does that look like? Well, the combination of private enterprise and government working together has been really successful. Um, we've had a lot of participation, been able to participate in solving some of these congestion issues. So I would like to give the administration credit for helping do things like help get the ports open 24 hours a day to open up some of the, the, the trucking lines, what we call drayage, when, when the container ships are put onto these small trailers then moved off the port. There's been a lot of work to do that. And then all the way through the supply chain, um, there's been a lot of innovation. and. You know, week after week in the third quarter in particular, um, sequentially, each month of, of the quarter got stronger. Um, the number of containers that we were moving through the, uh, through the ports has grown significantly. Solving these issues solves it for Walmart. But Walmart, you essentially own your own supply chain. You own those cargo ships. You own the planes. How does it solve things for other businesses? Well, for the most part, um, we're actually working with a number of supplier partners, just as the way the rest of the market would. We did charter some vessels for Walmart, for the, but the majority of the product that we would have imported would have been through some of our large supplier partners who have been quite helpful. Then once you get into the country, of course, we do own some of the, we, we own our distribution centers and some of our trucks, but we also use a number of third parties um, throughout. Um, so the majority of what we would do would be with partners 
until inventory and product makes it into our supply chain and our regional distribution centers and our fulfillment centers. Given where you were in this position last year versus now, how optimistic are you? What's your outlook for the year ahead? Yeah, I, th I think that, that we have a strong consumer. We have a strong economy. You know, all the numbers reflect that. Uh, the employment numbers going up um, with at a time when, when wages have risen, I think, is a positive sign for the country in general. I think that, that the ability of, of us and other people to be positioned for with inventory ready to go for the holiday is a positive thing. And, you know, and then I think the final thing is, is we're really excited about this commitment with U.S. manufacturing. Um, as I said earlier, we, we've committed to an additional $350 billion of product that's either made, assembled, or sourced here in the United States. And we're looking forward to the impact that that's going to have. So I feel a lot better this year than we did last year. We're better positioned than we were last year. Uh, but we've got a lot of work to do. Um, it's, uh, it's only November. It's late November. We've still got six important weeks ahead of us as we get into the Christmas season. And then for our team, it's get ready for New Year's, then the Super Bowl and other events. And then we'll be right back off to... Uh, trading into the new year.